What's going on guys? Yang with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green, the Egg Lock Run. In the last episode, we got our second gym badge from Misty, and we also hatched a ton of Pokemon. Today, before we conquer the SSN, we actually can catch one more Pokemon. So that's what we're gonna do. So yes, I have my ticket. I'm flashing this guy because I don't care, because I have beautiful breasts and I want to show them off. Okay? Thank you. So what we're gonna be doing is we can actually catch a Pokemon right here, uh, right before the SSN, and this will count as SSN, since you can't actually get a Pokemon on the boat. And I did come here and check to, just to make sure you can get a Pokemon here, because I was a little unsure, but you can, as you just saw, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a Magikarp, since that's all you get with the rod, so, <laughs> the old rod. It's a level 5 Magikarp, which we sh I don't think whatever we're going to hatch this into is going to be su super useful right here at the beginning, but, eh, or uh, pretty much in general, because it's, wow, okay, you're going to make this difficult. I see how it is, Carp. I understand this now. I understand what's going on. You don't want to come with me, do you? Oh, I'm shaking my head in disappointment with you right now. Oh. Wow. I kind of want to seismic toss this thing. I'm pretty sure it will have more than 17 HP. Please have more than 17 HP. I'm going to be so sad if you don't. Please, please, please. Oh. Wow. Wow. Oh. Oh. So I'm guessing Magikarp is 18 HP. <laughs> wow, that was almost extremely stupid on my part. If Snipper was one more level, I would have just killed that catch. And I haven't actually killed any catches so far. I've caught every Pokemon, so... Um, let's go hatch our new Pokemon. It will be level 5, sadly, so it probably won't get much use. And while we're speaking of hatches, um, there was a big debate on whether or not... or About people complaining that Absol is actually illegal. First off, I would have I was like actually shocked to find out that a starting move isn't pound cuz it kind of reminds me of Trico how Trico's starting move is pound. You know, you think he would like pound you with that weird face tail thing that he's got going on there. But no, it's actually scratch. But as some people pointed out, scratch and pound are literally the exact same move with different names. They have the same base power, same accuracy, same damage, uh, same PP. Not to mention not that he is quick attack. I don't think I'm actually going to be using scratch at all or pound, so I am going to be keeping Absol. I apologize if that upsets you, but, you know, whatevs. Anyways, let's go hatch a new Pokemon. Let's take box... Take box three. Let's go this one. An electric type would actually be quite nice. I would not complain about that. Let's put, um... Put, uh, Nikestro in the box for now. Still an amazing nickname, by the way. I love it. And we will hatch this Pokemon, then we will go take on the SSN. And if I don't know if we're gonna be, t I'm a little unsure if we should be taking on Gary yet. Uh, I looked up, and his highest Pokemon is, is level 20 Charmeleon. All I know, the only thing I remember is that his Kadabra will not be able to touch Charcoal. So that's fantastic. Ooh, it's an Eevee. <gasps> I made a promise to a friend of mine. Normally, I don't like accept nickname requests because, like, literally, then I'd have all the comments saying, "Nickname a Pokemon after me, do it." But I had a friend of mine ask if I get a Eevee if I can name it Chewitz after her, so I will do it because she asked and I promised I would. So I believe it's Chew. I don't know if it's S or Z, so I'm just gonna guess S. I don't remember. Uh, so there you go. I named you. Oh, actually, let's take a look at this Eevee before I leave. Actually, this could be really awesome. I, I like Eevee. So let's uh, tackle Tail Whip, Helping Hand, and Wish. I like can gu pretty much guarantee that moveset's legal because I know a lot of Vaporeons will run Wish in Wi-Fi battles. So awesome! But I don't think I'm gonna take it with me right now. I'm quite happy with Nikestro. I want to. I said I don't even have any. I can't get any stones right now, anyways. So yeah, not to mention it's actually impossible to get Umbreon and Espeon in this game. So if you didn't know. Which sucks, because, there, well, there's no time system in this game. There's also, like, no Dawn and Dusk Stone, which I don't know why they don't have Eevee and Espeon, or Umbreon and Espeon evolve via, uh, like, Dusk Stone and Dawn Stone, because that would be so much easier than having to have their mac happiness and max and have it be a certain time of the day. That is seriously a gigantic pain in the booty. So, uh, who do we want to train? I'm pretty sure everyone on this floor does not have water types. I know, like, the top four and the bottom four are filled with water types so that's got me a little nervous um i'm actually kind of confident on taking on gary right now because i'm sure beto can handle charmeleon so let's switch train our i just realized we have two rock types in hockey and Nikestro. so 
We we really gotta look out for like water. We have like I think three Pokemon who are weak to water. Four Pokemon who are weak to Wow, yeah. Um our like entire team can be crushed by water, and I'm just realizing this. Except for um Sipper and Beto. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good thing. I really need a grass or an electric type. I yeah, that's at one point it's like, oh it'd be useful, and now I'm like starting to realize how this much I'm getting destroyed. I could easily get destroyed by a water type. Now I'm like really paranoid about it, so I might go with Jolteon. I don't know if when I can get a Thunderstone, I might look into that, but uh, I've never, I don't think I've used Jolteon before. I know I've used Flareon, I've used Umbreon, I've used, I think I've had two Umbreons actually. Um, I've used Vaporeon several times. Pretty much like every time I play this game, I always go with Vaporeon. I don't think I've ever used Jolteon before, and Wow, you whore. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Now you're gonna get killed by my Nitto King. I hope you're happy. Was it worth it? Now you're gonna get destroyed by a big fucking. It's Barney. You're getting killed by Barney. Are you happy right now? Are you happy? Barney doesn't like you. Whoa. Okay, so I'm pretty sure the second room right here is the rest room. Yes. Okay, so that is the room you can go to if you want to. Uh, if you take, if you're getting your butt kicked. And you need to recover some HP. You go to that room, and she lets you sleep in her bed, if you know what I mean. It, it means she lets you sleep in her bed. Get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> but anyways, let's go. I don't want to make any physical contact with this thing, because I know how that's going to turn out. So, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, freaking fighting type move. That's nice. Uh, let's go into the Pokemon that can't be poisoned, then. Wow. I am a very dumb person. Switching in a dark type. I should have... Actually, I didn't really predict... I did not predict, um... Double kick at all. That took me by surprise. I don't know what I was predicting it to do, but it never even occurred to me that it might use double kick, so... Obviously, you can tell I'm not the smartest cookie. Um... But, I think, like, everyone on here just has, like, Nidorans and Growlithe on this entire floor. It's, like, the only Pokemon you'll find, so... I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, to be honest. I'm um, definitely glad I didn't have Hockey out there, because Hockey pretty much... There's, like, no chance that Hockey would have survived that double kick. Being quad weak to it, five levels lower than it. Uh, yeah, why did I use double kick exactly? What is going on in my weird little mind? I don't know. I'm being very odd today. How are you guys today? I'm going ask you a question. Okay, I don't know what I just said there. I apologize. I am... I'm really hyper, and I don't know why, but all of a sudden, I just got like filled with this adrenaline rush of adrenaline, so I don't think I'm going to take, I I really want to because it's fantastic training, but I don't think I'm going to be taking on the water trainers here, because I just, I literally have nothing to use against them. Which room has Brick Break? One of these rooms here has Brick Break in it, and I don't remember which one it is, might be... Okay, yep, yeah, there's Brick Break. I'm not going to teach Brick Break to Heracross because he'll learn it at, I think, 22 or 23. So that would be a waste. But I'm probably, I'm thinking I'm going to give it to um, Moon, actually. Being a physical attacker, kind of like forcing the physical attacking on me. Thank you, by the way. Um, I I know the moves that I'm probably going to go with. I want to give him Earthquake, but he won't be able to get that until I beat Giovanni. And that, you know, first he has to live until I beat Giovanni, which I kind of have my doubts about. Um... I'm thinking like Earthquake, I don't want to give him Mega Horn. There would be absolutely no point to giving him Mega Horn. And the reason I say that is because um, Mega Horn would be useful against Grass types. Mega Horn would be useful against Psychic types. And Mega Horn would be useful against Dark types. Uh, one, if you have your Nidoking King out against a Psychic type, it deserves to die. So, two, uh, dark types would be taken care of by Brick Break, and Brick Break is a lot more useful. You know, Mega Horn has like 75 accuracy, so it's going to be missing a lot. Uh, basically, I'm just trying to say I don't want to use Mega Horn, okay? Don't make me try to explain it, because I'm doing a horrible job, and now I'm starting to panic because I can't think of the words that I was trying to say, and I just wanted to explain why I didn't want to use Mega Horn, and why I wanted to go with something like Brick Break, but now you guys are just making me feel so upset right now, because I just don't know what I wanted to do, and I just don't know what's going on right now, and I just wanted to try to play Pokemon, but you guys had to come here trying to make fun of me, and I just don't understand why you're doing this to me. I'm not using Mega Horn. Deal with it. Big monsters. Okay, that might have got a little out of control. My apologies. <laughs> uh, but either way, as I was saying, I'll 
not 100% sure if I'm giving him... Wait, what? Did I... Oh, did I already get it? I don't remember if I grabbed it or not. <laughs> that shows how much attention I'm paying. Did I grab... I should actually probably consider using some of these awesome teams. Yeah, so um, I'm not giving it to Sipper. I don't know. What is Moon's moveset right now? Because I know Moon's pretty much going to wear no move I'm actually going to want to use. Uh, br double kick with both hits is 60 base power. Brick break is 75. So that's a straight upgrade. Um, you know what? Yeah, I'm going with it. And it's not like it's that big of a deal because we're not wasting this TM because we'll just be able to buy it and sell it on. Which is actually wonderful. I When I stem... One of the times I played Fire Red, I ended up having four of my Pokemon no Brick Break. So, yeah. What about Rock Tomb? Um, that would be an interesting move. I don't know if I want to have that on Sipper, because I was going to say it would hit Flying Types, but having him out against a Flying Type is just suicide anyways. But, um, I don't know. It could be useful against Bug Types. Uh, fire. I don't know. A lot of the Pokemon would be useful against. He should not be facing anyways, like Fire Types and Flying Types, but... You know, I guess it, it's decent coverage, and, you know, I don't, I guess I don't see any reason not. I should have gave it to Hockey. I'm so stupid. What about Dig? Why didn't I not give... Ooh, you can... Okay, yes, you are definitely learning Dig. Um, I should have gave Rock Tomb to Hockey, because it would have been Stab, and I'm very stupid, but... I think he'll... I actually don't know if he learns a Rock-type move. What about Water Pulse? Uh, no. <laughs> Actually, uh, yeah, Water Pulse on Lapras would work, because that'd be better than Water Gun, so let's go with that. Okay, you know, I think uh, we're ready to take on Gary. I don't think we even need to take on the Water Trainers. I wish, I really wish we had something that'd be useful against the Water Trainers, but considering we just have nothing and this is a Nuzlocke run, I just don't think it's worth the risk. So, uh, I believe he's going to start out with his Pidgeotto, so we will go with hockey because Pidgeotto can't touch hockey and yeah all right best of luck everybody let's go take on the Gary um, Rufus yeah that's his name let's do it oh crap here he comes bonjour hardy. imagine seeing you here honey you were really invited no I broke in because I flashed the guy it's really quite simple anybody just wants to see man boobs man boobs they rule the world true fact so how's your Pokedex coming? I already got 40 kinds, and yet you only have 4 Pokemon on you. I find that a little fishy. I think they accidentally added a 0 there. I don't think they meant to put that 0 there. Because if he has 40 Pokemon, why does he only have 4? Yeah, think about it. Okay, anyways, let's go with... Oh, Sand Attack. I was really... actually didn't even consider that. Okay, so if we... Oh, okay, that's nice. Just keep that up. That's extreme... Oh! No, fine. You're getting bedowed. You, I was gonna try to take you down a nice way, but now you're getting bedowed. This is your fault. From now on, whenever Lapras kills somebody, we're just gonna call it getting bedowed. B e t t o d, bedowed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make T-shirts that say you just got bedowed. Bedowed. All right, so let's try. Uh, actually, let's go with Sipper because you know he's what a lacking behind. I'm very scared of Eradicates. I made. Oh, that's right. You don't have a fighting type move yet. Dang it. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, I actually probably should have gone with Nidoking King then. Let's just try a Horn Attack. I don't think... It's probably not going to get a crit. Okay, it's going with Tail Whip. That's actually really good because we are faster and now we will kill it. That is what you get. You could have killed me, Raticate. And I just killed your Raticate. Yeah, how does it feel? Raticate didn't take the chance to kill me, so it died. As in, you will never see that Raticate again. Why do you think Gary's in Lavender Town? Hmm? 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 Alright, so this thing can actually hit me because the only non psychic type move it has is Disable. So, and it just went for there. So I'm going to assume if this doesn't kill it, which I... It probably will. Yeah, I was going to say, it's probably going to try to Disable, so I would have just gone for Ember. And that would have killed it, but not a problem. Uh, Alright, so let's go... Let's use Moon for this one. I was going to go with Bedoed, but Bedoing two things in one battle seems a little bit like over Bedo. So... You don't want to over beto anything. You got to be really careful with your bettos. Am I saying beto too much? Wow. Oh, you. Wow. Okay. That's cool. Just live. Yeah. That's nice. Wow. <laughs> Rude. Okay. Whatever. So, we managed to beat Rufus. Now we're going to get the greatest move ever. Cut. Yeah. The bet. I think that. I believe this is actually like the only time in the entire game you actually need cut as well is um 
to get to Vermilion City or to get to a tenant surge. I don't think there's any other point where cut is mandatory. I might be wrong. I'm okay. No, actually, you do need it in the Sevy Islands in the post game. Um, but I think, but until you get to the post game, this is the only time you need it. I don't remember. All right, do I want to take on these trainers? I don't want to take on the water trainers. I'm sorry. I know I should, and I'm losing out on a lot of experience, but. I literally just have nothing to use against them. I could I could use Sipper and just like try to horn attack everything, but I mean if something happens to Sipper and I have to switch out, then I'm pretty much screwed, so uh I'm just I'm thinking with my head here. Alright, so hopefully we have a Pokemon in a box. Oh man, how awesome would it be if Dunsparce can learn cut? I don't think he can, because I I don't imagine how he would cut something, but I don't want to teach one of my main Pokemon Cut, so let's go see if we have any Derpy Pokemon that can learn Cut, because I would be really sad if we had to give it to somebody we actually like. So let's hope that's not true. Um, Teddy Ursa. Oh, I don't know, because Ursaring might be pretty cool. Uh, Dunsparce. You're still level 5? After this entire time, I never even got you to level 6? <laughs> I'm a horrible trainer. <laughs> Um, I'm sure Absol can learn it, but I don't want to give him that. Yeah, because I think my Absol in Blaze Whack 2 actually had cut, but then it was a grass type move and it was actually decent. So, yeah, let's go with Titty Ursa. Uh, actually, I'm I'm not even like ready to take on Lieutenant Surge, so I don't need to worry about this right now. But I just know in the future, I will give Titty Ursa cut. And then we just take it off at the move deleter, so it's not like that big of an extreme deal. But in the meantime, let's get back to our grinding. Um, for Lieutenant Surge, alright, so I should want to point this out. I have a history of losing ground type Pokemon to electric type gym leaders. In Blaze Wife 2, I lost ground type Pokemon to Elisa. In uh, Platinum, I lost two ground type Pokemon in the Sunny Shore Gym. In Fire Red Omega, I lost a Vault Toy uh, <laughs> to Lieutenant Surge. So, yeah, I kind of have a very bad tendency to lose ground type Pokemon in electric gyms. Which, for the record, makes no sense at all. But it makes me a little nervous. So I believe we'll, we can work on the Kester later right now. Let's kind of put some effort into Aron because Aron and Nidoking are going to kind of be the stars in this battle. I'm sure there will be other useful Pokemon, but for now it's... Oh, you would have to have Intimidate. Oh, dang it. Okay, either way, for now, I'm kind of putting... I don't know. I don't really have a strategy for this yet because... I, it's hard to create a strategy when you are very afraid of losing the one thing that you know is like gonna be your strategy and that's my ground type because it's just like I'm cursed to always lose ground type Pokemon in electric gyms so Nidoking Moon I'm very terrified for Moon's faith here so let's all just come together and we'll pray for Moon and I guess what I will do is I will take on some of these trainers in the meantime. Do I have a paralyzed heal or do I have to run back? I, oh, I got a nugget actually, so I could sell that and get some potions. That seems like a fantastic idea because potions are always wonderful to have and it's not like a nugget's actually useful, so. Actually, nuggets are very useful because you get five million McDollars for them. So I, I need more Pokeballs, I just realized that. So let's get ten of those before I forget because I just know I'll go to the next route and I'll forget um to get pokeballs and i will miss out on my opportunity to catch pokemon that would make me sad so we don't want to be sad we want to be happy happy people are fun we don't want to be sad people so i'm really paranoid about lieutenant surge i you are a ground type i'm gonna switch because i don't actually think sanchu has any ground type moves right now but i would much rather be safe than sorry so Sand attack. Okay, technically that's a ground type move, but I think we all knew what I mean when I said that. <laughs> I meant a damaging ground type move that isn't really annoying. And don't you poison me. Okay. Uh, why does why does Sanchu get poison sting? I never understood that. Like looking at Sanchu, he doesn't look like a poison type Pokemon. I don't understand why he has poison sting. I forgot to. Did I really forget to go to the Pokemon Center? Wow. Nice. Good job, Hardy. I don't I just don't understand why he has that and if someone can explain to me why he learns poison sting I will very much appreciate it so thank you um, 
I wouldn't actually mind getting a Zubat in this. I'm not gonna lie. You know, in my Fire Red Nuzlocke, I had an amazing Golbat. And I really, I don't like Zubat very much, but Golbat, I will give credit where it's due, is an amazing Pokemon, and he really deserves attention. I was kind of upset he wasn't able to evolve into a Crobat till the post game, but still, he was a lot of fun. And I would definitely not mind having a Crobat. So I'm sure there's going to be at least one person who sent me a Zubat. So I'm kind of looking forward to that because we could use a Flying type, but I'm kind of, I'm fine with um, Nikestro for now. So I believe I think I'm gonna that's going to do it for today. Um, I'm going to probably do some more grinding. I'll go take on all those trainers, which will actually be really good for the grinding. And then I will have the Versus Seeker. Next time we'll be taking on Lieutenant Surge. And we'll probably spend three quarters of the video playing around with this trash can. So that should be fun. Until next time, if you guys have any strategy on not losing ground type Pokemon in Electric Gym, that would be very useful. Last time I challenged you guys to get 200 likes. And you guys actually got like 350 at the time I'm recording this. So, pff, way to blow my mind. Um, so let's try four. 300 this time so because absolutely nothing useful in this video happened and that's a reason to like it yeah until then i'm hardy peace